friends, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I am opening my very first Revive Essential Oils order. Alright guys, this video has been highly requested. Everyone wants me to try Revive. Um, and I haven't until just now. I got this order yesterday in the mail and I was really excited, so here we are. Um, I didn't order Revive right away because of their marketing. I feel like they uh, just were off-putting to me personally in the way that they just attack MLM and compare and kind of copy them. Um, on the other hand, that shouldn't um, like determine if I like the company or not, I guess the quality of their oils is obviously what is most important, but that was just off-putting to me and just in my personal, just being real with you guys, that's why I just ordered them um, and didn't like two years ago when I first started with oils. Um, here's the box. Uh, I saw, I did lots of research on Revive um, before I wanted to do this video. I just wanted to know all I could know, I guess, before I gave you my full um, just first impression, basically. So, I saw that a couple of people, it might have been earlier on, this is a newer company, so it might have been earlier on when they got their oils, it was just a mess in the box, but the packaging was fine, I took them all out, they were bubble wrapped and stuff, so packaging was good. Um, this is the box, which I feel like it's a pretty minimal box for what I got. I got some carrier oils and then, um, how many oils did I get? Two, four, six, eight, nine essential oils. They're all 10 milliliter bottles, um, which is just something to keep in mind uh, when you're comparing, which I will do um, price comparisons in just a minute, but they're different size bottles than Young Living or other brands that I usually use. So I want to say I got like their three most popular and then some random ones. Um, I think that's what it was, but there's nine oils. Um, I'll show you these first. Uh, I was needing some jojoba and rosehip to do my nighttime facial serum. So I got some of these. I think these were each $9, which was a good price. Um, jojoba and rosehip are um, on the higher end of um, uh, carrier oils, uh, where coconut oil is more affordable or a little less expensive but I'll put the pricing I don't know for sure there they were between 9 and um, 15 I think for each one four milliliter or four fluid ounces uh, so I'll let you know I haven't used these yet I can I don't know do they smell weird I guess I could do a little smell test um, no aroma it's good um, and then the rose hip which is my favorite for using on um, facial. So it has like that doll. It smells like rosehip to me, like a normal rosehip oil. Uh, rosehip is my favorite for like a nighttime serum because it has more of an anti-aging uh, property or effects, I guess. I don't know. Um, okay, so what order am I going to go in? I'll just start with this one because I was really excited. Actually, someone commented and let me know um, that Revive had this. This is their Progescence Plus Dupe. They have a lot of dupes. Um, so you can go on their website and it'll, it'll say compare to MLMs, doTERRA and Young Living and every oil, not every oil, but they have a copycat or a dupe to most. And this is the dupe to Progescence Plus. And this Progescence Plus is the oil of Young Living that I will never stop using. Um, I don't know. I haven't tried this yet. We'll see. But it is the hormone supporting oil and it has, um, yam, uh, which is nature's form of progesterone, um, which um, supports your progesterone and your hormones and all that. I have a whole video on that, so let me know if you want that link, but this is Harmonious Healing. Um, same exact instructions, apply two to four drops to the stomach, feet, or inner thighs one to two times a day, rotate application sites to avoid um, application to the same days two days in a row, do not exceed two applications per day. Um, and that's because it is, um, it does have progesterone, uh, which is going to help balance you. It smells exactly the same. I'm going to do a comparison video, so I'm not going to compare them too much in this one. This is just my first impression on this, so I'm going to try to stay um, on track. But this, it smells really good. It smells just like Pro Plus, in my opinion. Um, so there's that. And should I do the pricing now? Let's see. I'll do the pricing as I do the oil. So the 10 milliliter bottle of um, Harmonious Healing is $19, which is a really good price. You don't have to be a member, um, so that is just their price, $19, and you also get free shipping. Young Living Progescence Plus is, um, where? 
Okay, Progestins Plus is 5263. If you are a member or have something on recurring their auto cycle program, um, you get a discount of 24%. So that brings it to $40, which is still twice the price of this one. Um, and the Progestins Plus is 15 mil. So just keep that in mind when you're comparing prices um, to other brands. But um, I do want to note that I am no longer a brand partner with Young Living. Um, I am still a customer. Um, so I still want to buy their oils and um, be a customer. But I am no longer uh, a brand partner. So I don't have an affiliate link or whatever you want to call that. I'm not part of the MLM. I guess I still am. I don't know. Just wanted to disclaimer this video with that. But that is just very recent. I will do a whole video on why I chose to do that um, and just where I'm at currently with Young Living, but that's coming soon. I just wanted to note that just because it just happened this weekend. Okay, next oil is Joy. This is um, Joy from Young Living is my all-time favorite, so I had to try their Joy, and it smells just the same. It's very bright and floral and citrusy, and it really just makes me happy. I love it. Um, this is in my top three essential oils. I love Joy. Some people don't. It's very um, strong. It's very floral. And some people are just not floral scent type of people. So if you don't like floral, you probably won't like it. But it does make me just super happy. Um, next, Immunity Boost. This is their uh, dupe for thieves. Um, so if you are anywhere in the essential oil uh, community, you know what thieves is. It's the king of essential oils. It's um, super powerful has cinnamon and clove, um, I think, not my, what is it? Clove, lemon, cinnamon, eucalyptus, and rosemary, not clove. Um, no, not, what did I say? Anyways. Um, so it does smell a tiny bit different than Thieves to me. I can't pinpoint it. I'll do more of a comparison when I do that video. Um, but so far, I mean, it smells good. It doesn't smell like perfumey or synthetic to me. Um... After I go, oh, I should have done the pricing of Joy. So Joy from Revive is $16. Again, this is a 10 mil bottle. Um, the Young Living one for 15 mil is $58.88 um, and then 24% off that if you remember. Lavender is next. Um, this is, let's see which lavender it is. Oh, it says lavender flower. Oh, Lavendula um, Angustifolia. So it's the lavender that most people know and love um it smells good it's really oh it is really just calming lavender it smells good it smells comparable to any other lavender i've used um and i'll do the pricing quick on this one too so this is nine dollars um which oh i did the per ml too so i'll so moving forward i'll share that so 90 cents per milliliter um and then young livings is <clears throat> 1645 for a 5 mil and 33 for 15 mil so right around between two and three dollars per milliliter um all right next is lemon lemon is used a lot around here um we use it in additives to like cleaning and laundry um but we also use it a lot to snap off those little tiny rubber bands in the girl's hair I haven't opened this one yet. Um, so if you have girls or have any kids that like those little rubber rubber bands um, to keep their hair, but it pulls their hair when you're taking it out, just put one drop and it kind of just snaps it and helps take it off. Uh, this smells so fresh, so bright. This smells really good. Um, lemon and their citrus oils are the only oils that are not steam distilled. They are cold pressed, which is the correct way to do it. Um, and I'll talk about that too, like the pros and cons of the brand as a whole. Oh, lemon essential oil. Um, what was the price on that one? So it's $7 um, from Revive, so that's 70 cents per milliliter. And then um, Young Living uh, for 5 mil is eight fifty five. 15 mil is fifteen seventy nine, which they have such weird pricing. Why can't it just be 15 or $16? Um, anyways, um, so that puts it between $1 and $2 per milliliter, so almost double triple in some cases I don't know <laughs> um do your own pricing too this is just average and my math I am not a mathematician so that this is my math <laughs> um peppermint is next and I don't think I've opened this one either this is mentha paprika uh and peppermint plant so it's kind of odd their bottle is a little bit different than any other I feel like this is similar to the Dr. Axe oils um and where they put the like serving and it's as a supplement it's labeled like that so 
Um, Revive is very sure about uh, ingesting and letting you know you can ingest their oils. Ooh, this smells really good. This is the peppermint I know and love. So the smell test just off the first, you know, impression is really good. Um, this smells very fresh and very awakening. Again, so one drop peppermint plant 60 milligrams, which I'm not 100% sure what that means. If you do, let me know in the comments. I'm going to research that too. And maybe I'll put it here after I do my research. But anyways, um, they're labeled like that and they are very um, just confident and letting you know which oils you can ingest and that's your own opinion um, or that's your own personal preference i highly recommend doing research on ingesting oils it's not just a fun thing you can do every day i guess you could if you want um but it, in my opinion it's not the safest or most effective way to use essential oils so do your research if you want me to do a whole video on ingesting let me know i might do that okay next is breathe air um and i think this one and sleep these are the last two these are their um blends breathe air might be a comparable one to doTERRA which i'm not familiar with so um there isn't a young living comparative one i don't think so this is 12 dollars. oh i did compare it to the breathe again roll on and to raven which is a similar use um for oils so this is 12 the young living roll on is 36 same uh 10 mil but it's a roll on so it's diluted so that's a little bit different um and then the 15 mil of raven is 49 dollars um, so this is very, um, like peppermint eucalyptus type of thing. You get the deal. It just kind of opens up your airways. It smells good. We'll probably use this like when we're sick, but breathe again, or no, breathe air is what this one is. And then sleep is the last one. And this isn't comparable to any really Young Living bun that I could find. So I thought it was cool just to get a different little... This is sleep. Oh, this might be similar to a Simply Earth um, because it it's um, geranium, hoe wood, coriander, lavender, Roman chamomile, lemongrass, lemon, ylang ylang, jasmine, and rose. And I do think there's a um, Simply Earth sleepy blend similar to this. Oh, I love this. So again, I'm a big floral person. This is ylang ylang and rose. That's what I'm getting the most of. Um, geranium too. It's a very floral but at the same time it's calming because this one joy is floral oil but it's uplifting and bright so i don't know the difference maybe this one just has the citrus oils that are more uplifting but they are similar but different and i like this one mm, i'm going to diffuse this tonight and see how it makes me feel but okay those are the essential oils I didn't do the price comparison on all of them. I'll put it in the description and the blog post that goes with this video um, that I always do. So check for the link there if you if I missed a price on something that you wanted to know. Um, but uh, that Breathe Air one was $12. I already said that one. And what was the sleep? Um, that's $15 for a 10 mil. So their price points are great. When you first look at them, you're like, okay, I can do this. I can afford them, especially if you're coming from an MLM or a... Um, I don't know, these might even be lower than like Rocky Mountain. They might be comparable to Simply Earth. Simply Earth is another um, really affordable brand that we love. The price points are obviously a lot different um, and a lot of people just see that and automatically think like, this is what I want, I want the cheaper oil. Um, but there are some questions just to think about before you're investing, especially ingesting and using these oils um, for medical purposes. Uh, just a couple of questions to think about when you're looking into a new brand is, um, do they farm organically? Um, um, Young Living says they do and Revive says they do. So Young Living says that all of their farms are free of pesticides for more than 50 years. Um, they're not USDA organic though. Um, and then Revive has USDA organic uh, variety. Um, not all of them are, uh, but they do say that all of their farms or are organic. Is that so hard to say? Or um, harvested indigenously, which is cool. I think that's really good um, as far as an eco standpoint, but... The next thing is to look at is harvesting. They harvest the plant at the proper time, that matters. Um, and then they did they distill properly? Um, both companies claim to do that. Uh, like I mentioned before, um, oil should be steamed still, unless it's a citrus oil, That those are cold pressed. So um, both brands claim that they are doing that. Um, and then testing, that's super important. And Young Living uh, claims to test and um, rigorously test all of their essential oils, which I do think they do. Um, but they don't have their test results available on their site. Revive does. Um, now I did see that someone said they didn't have a 
a batch number that they couldn't look up and they contacted and said it's just the most recent one. I don't know how trustworthy that is. The bottom of my bottle does have a number. I haven't looked too far into it, so I'll update you in the description um, after I figure all that out. But they do have test results ready on their website. I just don't know how you can look it up to the specific bottle of oil you are holding. Um, but I do love that transparency with Revive, and they do say that they test for 20 different things, and I can put that down below. I guess what I'm just trying to say is look into all different places and resources for your information. Don't just believe one little thing that you see on the internet. Um, not everything on the internet is true. The link to shop Revive will be in the description. It's an affiliate link. Any questions on anything that I talked about today, just let me know. You can also message me on Instagram. Um, but thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this was helpful. Look for the comparison of Revive versus Young Living coming soon, and I hope you have a great day. Thanks. Bye.